Hey y'all, this is your girl Carol coming to you with another video. I hope everyone is safe and is doing well. Today, I'm just going to clean our kitchen a little bit and get ready to decorate for Easter. I'm just going to decorate a few areas in our home because I'm going to save some of the um, Easter decoration for my Easter home tour. Okay, so we're going to get started. If you are stopping by my channel for the first time, welcome to Getting It Done With Carol. My channel is a lifestyle channel. It has everything to do with cooking, cleaning, entertaining, how to do project DIYs, and so much more. So if you love the contents that you see, I would love for you to join the family by hitting that red subscribe button on the video, tapping that notification bell, and make sure you hit all videos. So this time, this way, every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. Now, if you don't hit all videos, you will not see all of the videos that I upload. For some reason, that's how YouTube have it set up. You have to hit all videos in order to see every video that I upload. And to my sustaining subscribers, thank you for hanging in there with your girl. I really appreciate it. You guys know I love y'all so much. And now I'm going to continue on cleaning this kitchen. some bleach with water and I'm just going to use this to wipe down my countertops and my oven. I can help you out. Right here I'm just giving my sink a good cleaning just to get that area done. Um, the cleanser that I use in my sink is the Barkeeper's Friend. And I just want to mention as I was watching the news, I mean it's just so sad on what's going on around the world. I mean we really have to be careful. We have to use all precautionary measures to stay safe. I mean this coronavirus has no age limit. It's for the young, it's for the old, it's for the middle age, it's for everyone. Okay, so we have to stay prayerful, guys, and always try to do things to lift your spirit up. I don't know if it's a scripture you want to read or a song you want to sing. Do whatever it takes just to stay lifted because we are going through a crisis right now. Okay, everyone, before I start decorating, I just want to tell you about this supplement called Green Vibrance. Okay, my sister-in-law hooked us on to this um, supplement. She's been using it for quite a long time now. It has 25 billion probiotics in it, and it's also plant-based, so you don't have to worry about all the harsh chemicals in it. It's also had, it also supports four foundations of health, which is nutrition, circulation, digestion, and immunity. Okay, it's gluten-free, and it's non-GMO, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So which this product is pretty good. It don't have the greatest taste, 
but you can take it with water and you can also take it with juice okay um the price of this is a little pricey it's like a hundred dollars for this size but guys it works with what's all going on now in the world with this coronavirus and everything it's it's time to build up your immune system okay so i'm just bringing this um to your attention i'm not being sponsored or anything like that but i'm, not, I'm just letting you know just what our family is using and look it up for yourself and find out the information for yourself it's really good for the body and for your health okay all right we're going to start decorating okay now here are the items i'm going to be using to decorate uh, for easter i'm not going to use all the items i'm going to save some of them for my home tour because i'm not going in the stores you guys to buy anything So here we are in our entryway, this is the area that you see as soon as you enter our home. I have this cute little bunny here and uh, I'm just going to add him to this bench. I think he'll look perfect there to welcome guests as they enter our home. And if you notice his little outfit really coordinates with the colors of the pillow. And I have this little pretty little yellow flower here that I'm just going to add to the basket just to make it look more festive. And this greenery is just the pop that it needs to liven up the space. And what's the best way to describe Easter? Of course with an Easter egg. Why not add that to the mix? And this is how the entryway is looking. Pretty good, huh? I love it. I see all blue, there is so much cold in you. And the silence is so loud when you go. I just stay. Okay, here I am in my great room. I'm just speaking to my husband. I am removing the items off this table. Now here I have two little plant pots that I bought at Target last year. And I purchased the flowers from the dollar store and also the eggs. Now I had these two cute little bunnies that I purchased at Michael's last year. So I'm just looking to see how I like them on that table and diggle your girl again. She's going to make changes. Now I purchased these three bunnies at the Goodwill last year. So let's see how they look on the console table. Okay, so far I really like it. So I have these little eggs here that was purchased at the dollar store previously. And I'm just going to add them to the set just for a little pop of color. I just love the pastel colors of Easter. They are just so pretty. So this is it guys. Now right here I'm just removing these items off this coffee table because this is the area I'm going to decorate next. Now right here I have this cute little floral arrangement that I had from last year in which I added some pastel color Easter eggs and also some bunnies. So I think that looks cute sitting right there in the center. And I have this wicker little basket here that I purchased at the Goodwill from a couple of months ago for only a dollar. So I'm going to place, place that floral arrangement right in this basket in which I'm going to add something else to this basket. But I'll save that for my Easter home tour. Ok 
Okay, now I'm going to bring back these cute little bunnies and I'm going to place one on each side of the floral arrangement. I think that looks pretty cute. The bunny has that little bow tied around his neck with that little yellow flower and she with her cute little bonnet with her little flowers. So I think that looks pretty cute together. Okay, y'all, here go your girl again. As I was looking at this console table, I said, you know what, it needs another element. So I have this little fake grass here. I'm gonna add in the center, and I'm gonna place that bunny on top of the grass, and I think it'll look a little better. I also added some candles to each side of the console table, and I think it really brightened up the area. Okay, here I am back in my kitchen area. I'm just going to remove these items. And right here I have this little basket here that I put some ribbons on either side. So I'm going to place that right there. But knowing me guys, you know your girl's always changing up and changing her mind. So I'm going to place it there temporarily. Okay, so I'm going to add some more of that little fake grass in the center of this basket. Now I'm going to add these little pastel color Easter eggs to the basket. I'm just having so much fun decorating for Easter. Um, it really takes your mind off a lot that's going on in the world now. And make you think of cheery stuff, happy stuff, joyful stuff. So I am just having a great time decorating guys. Now I'm starting to bring out all of my elements that I'm going to use to decorate this area. Now right here I have these cute little bunnies in rocking chairs. And I purchased these before the coronavirus came to surface. Now it's a him and a her. And look how he's cute with his little hat on, with his vest, and his pink bow tie to match her blouse. How cute is that? And then she has the nerve to have on a tutu. How cute. Okay guys, here I go again, changing my mind. I'm going to place her on one side and him on the other. Here I am. There I go. I need symmetry. Now I have this Dollar Tree sign and picture that I purchased last year. Now I happen to take a glance over at that basket. Did you catch my eye there? Now here I go again guys. Okay, now I am adding a little bit of that fake grass onto this cake stand to elevate the Easter basket. Okay, and here how it's look. Now I'm going to change this sign because it's a little too small. This one has a little more height. Now I think that looks a lot better. Okay, right here I am in my formal dining room area and I'm just going to add a little bit of Easter decor to this table and I have this cute little basket here that I had from last year. I'm going to add a little bit of that little fake yellow grass to the basket which complements my flower arrangement that I have on the table. 
Okay, in this bag I have a good many decorative eggs that are so pretty. So I'm just adding those eggs to the basket. Now next I have this cute little moss bunny which I'm going to add right next to that little basket. It's so cute and dainty. I'm just going to position it right there. And guys that's it. I am all done decorating for today. I had so much fun. I really love how everything turned out. So until next time, keep on smiling, stay encouraged, stay safe and be blessed.